so they just kind of leave stuff for the magical cleaning fairy to clean up the next morning. And I don't understand why they don't understand that the only reason that the magical cleaning fairy cleans up is because she can't live like this. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. Good morning, YouTube family. So, today we're going to be doing just a quick day in the life. Um, so right now, it's like 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, I just had to check the microwave. It's 5.46 in the morning to be exact. Just made my coffee, which I feel like I haven't had in forever. Don't mind the dryer sound in the background. You just hear the dryer ball going round and round, but I'm gonna drink my coffee. Once I finish this, then I'm going to start waking up the boys. Well, no, not even. I'm going to go hop in the shower for myself, get me together first, and then I'm going to go start waking up the boys. <sighs> so this is a miracle that never happens. While I was in the shower, both boys got up, got themselves dressed, and are eating breakfast. This never happens. Is today a special day? Yeah. What's today that makes it so special? That you do not to wake us up. You're right. That is special. Okay. Mommy, one thing. Yes. How about, how about you can just like send the long pants with your piece itself? He won't, right? Because you're going to tell your teacher that you have to go potty, right? Mommy, okay. How are we going to do about this? I washed it. We're gonna when it finished drying. Okay, guys, I need to go get myself dressed. Seeing as how you guys got yourself dressed, which is wonderful. Because you don't have because it's six because because of a clock it said it's six twenty now. Yeah, so now mommy's gonna go get herself together. Please make sure you have all your stuff in your book bag, Thomas. Your black folder needs to go in your book bag. And if you're done your breakfast, you can hop on your tablet, Thomas, and do some more of those rounding games to prepare for your test today, okay? Wait, today's Thursday? Yes, today is Thursday. So did you hear what I said? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Sweetheart, why are you yelling? We're all in the car together. But Daddy not in it. Because he's because he's not taking the car to school. He's not taking the car. Oh, son's fierce. Mommy's not dropping them off to to work. He's dropping himself off to work to work. All right, but Tom Tom, test prep. Um, can you round a number for me? Okay. All right, round 97 to the nearest 10th. So it's in 10 Wait, we're going. Let's see. Let's see the ones. Good. 
Okay, so let's try another one. Round 182 to the nearest hundredth. 182 to the nearest hundredth. Sounds to me like you got this. When you're taking your test, just make sure you mark up your answer. Read the directions. Make sure you understand what it wants you to find. And if I get it right, what happens? When I get home, if I tell you guys I got it right. I don't know. We'll see. Me and Daddy will discuss it. Okay, kids are dropped off. Tom Tom has a test today on rounding and place values. And for like the past week, he's been struggling with it when it came to like all the little practice tests she was sent, the teacher was sent home for homework. I did the air quotes because she said it wasn't technically homework. It was just supposed to be like practice for at home they didn't have to return it to school or anything or like not stress about it don't worry about finishing it but we did them every single one because my baby was struggling for a second so it sounded like he got it he practiced this morning on his tablet I got him this um it's like third grade learning games it's like one of those teacher recommended uh apps that you get from the Play Store. And I paid, you know, the little extra $10 to unlock all the games, but they had like a rounding game. So it would ask him like, what's the place value? What place value is this number? Then round this number. So he's been doing that game nonstop. These little homework sheets the teacher was sending home, he was doing nonstop. So hopefully my baby got it because he was nervous and he would get frustrated at home. So I don't know. Told him to say a little prayer if he gets nervous before he takes the test. But he's got this. He's definitely got this. It's a little chilly today. So I'm hoping... Like, I'm tempted to stop by the old house and get, like, more of our long pants. Because all we mostly have is shorts. Like, I think both boys have one pair of long pants apiece, and myself included. And it is type chilly today. The last time I went in the house, because they never, like they changed the front, the front door, they changed the locks on the front door, but they didn't change the locks on the back door. So we've been able to get in and out of the house without having to call housing to let us in because our key still works for the back door. But now they've like tented off the kitchen and stuff, so... There's like a zipper barrier between the kitchen and the living room and which leads to the upstairs and all that. So we can't do that anymore. So now we would actually really have to call housing to let us in. Oh. Man, I don't know. I'm tempted to go stop by and see like just the check. Cause the last time I was in there, they had tented off the kitchen because they had started to cut um, new drywall. They had taken off the drywall on one side and then they had tore down the ceiling in the kitchen. So they had put the 
ceiling back up, but the wall was still down. So oh, I'm guessing it's still tinted off because that was just yesterday. What is it with army bases and circles? Downstairs, there is a load of clothes in the washer. The kitchen is clean and it is only 821. So normally I would go and make myself some breakfast. I'm not really sure what I want. I'm not that hungry, you know, since I added the MCT oil to my coffee. And I don't I don't know, I feel like I had like a lot of heavy stuff that I've been eating lately just sitting on my stomach so I don't really know what I want because I just want something light we do have fruit so I may just have some fruit um yeah I might just have some fruit and call it a day but now I have some business stuff that I have to take care of I have some soap that I have to cut so, I forgot to sweep the spot under the table and I can see dirt and it looks like an orange peel. I keep trying to tell my family that the magical cleaning fairy does not exist, but for whatever reason, they don't believe me. So they just kind of leave stuff for the magical cleaning fairy to clean up the next morning. And I don't understand why they don't understand that the only reason that the magical cleaning fairy cleans up is because she can't live like this. Like, can't walk around without socks because all the grit and just dirt and whatever they drop, they just leave. Like, who wants to do that there's no reason it should feel like I've been walking on the beach when I'm walking around the house like I shouldn't have to brush off my feet just, I just it's fine everything's fine everyone's fine but okay let me go clean up that little corner and then go like wrap my hair up and stuff so I can cut these soaps and package them because my launch is in today's Thursday two days so excited all right so I know I look real homely right about now with the apron and hair all wrapped up but it's the stuff you got to do now I couldn't find gloves anywhere like I really went looking for regular gloves, ended up having to order some. They haven't come yet. So, had to improvise. Bought some good old fashioned kitchen gloves. So that's what we're about to use to cut these soaps.
All right, so the cut is all done. Over here, we have rose gold. And over here, again, we have champagne kisses. And I kind of like how the inside came out because I wanted it to look like, you know how when you first pour yourself a glass of wine, how like the foam and the bubbles come up on top. So I was kind of hoping that it would stay more gold at the bottom. Like, you know how it settles and then the foam kind of just sits at the top. But I kind of like that it mixed. And it smells so good. So now it's time for me to bag all this. And take some photos of it. So that I can put it up. For my Instagram page. And then also product photos for when I finally launch everything but yeah I'm excited I'm done finished doing all the business stuff soap has been cut packaged labeled put up and set aside pictures have been taken everything's done and I can take this out of this bun but I, I don't feel like it I'm gonna leave it um, but now I need to run to the store because I'm actually needing to get more uh, baggies to put the soap in. I have four soaps that I ran out of baggies, so I have to go to Hobby Lobby because I checked Michael's and Michael's doesn't have the size I need. So I'm going to try Hobby Lobby, see if they have it, and then I need to run to the commissary, pick up some stuff, and then by that time, it should be about time to go get the boys. So... Yay. <laughs> okay, so I've already gone into... Why do I have my mask up? Like, I'm not still in my car. But we already have gone to Hob Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I think I said that right. Hobby Lobby. Um, I got the bags that I needed to finish packing up the soaps. And I got, like, a new planner. I'm so excited. Because I'm so over my 2020 and my... 2020 planner is almost done and I'm just sick of it this whole year has been trash but it's neither here nor there so now I'm about to go in the commissary to get my one last thing and then it'll be home so that I can finish packing up those soaps and then maybe have some type of lunch before I go pick up the boys and we're back at the house that commissary is actually really nice. It's much bigger than the one at Stewart. They had a sushi spot inside of the commissary, like always. So I just grabbed some for lunch. But now it is 1.42. So 2 o'clock is when I leave to go head to the boys' school so that I can get a good spot in line to go walk up the hill and pick them up. So I'm going to watch 15 minutes of a movie before I have to leave and bring them back and they take over the television. Yay. So we have arrived at the boys' school. Um, I'm eating a cookie from my secret stash. So secret that y'all couldn't even see it. Damn it. My husband doesn't know where my secret stash is. My kids don't know where my secret stash is. You won't even know where my secret stash is. It's the only way I get to have something for myself. Bye, Bye Jason. All right. Got the boys. We're going to go home. 
probably watch a movie, eat some dinner, and enjoy this good old four day weekend. So I'm just gonna end it right here. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, peace out. Boys say peace out. Enjoy your weekend.